Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is set actor relative rotation? Let's look at our example working. We see a door. We have a door frame around it, and then the door rotates to open. If we are to start this up with our door and we look at it, well, we're actually going to see something weird here. We have the rotating door, but attached to it, we actually have another blueprint of the door itself. Well, let's go ahead and look at how we use this node and how we have this set up. Let me disconnect these and recombine. This is our set actor relative rotation node, and you're actually going to find something weird with it. By default, it's going to look like this. Sweeping and teleporting are actually hidden under advanced. I'm going to open it up for now so we can look at it. This node's pretty simple. It's going to take in an actor, set the relative rotation of that actor to its parent. Now, what does that mean? Well, you got to keep in mind relative is basically compared to its parent, what is its rotation going to be? So if its parent has a rotation of nothing, and we tell the child, or this item right here, to rotate itself by 10 degrees on the Z, then it's going to end up being 10 degrees on the Z. Now the reason why the set actor relative rotation node is useful is relative is good when your parent may change. So if you're setting a rotation, let's say 20 degrees on the Z, it's always going to be 20 degrees on the Z based on the world. When you're setting it based on relative, it doesn't matter where you move your item to, it's going to be relative to the parent. Let me hook these back up and let me show you what I mean. So we have our door here and you can see it's facing that direction. We tell it to open, door opens fine. We close it, we take our door and we rotate our door, oh, like that, and we play it. It's still going to open fine. It doesn't matter what the parent's rotation is because we're setting it relative to the parent. It's going to go ahead and offset itself correctly. And that's why the relative one is nice. Now, like I mentioned, we are doing something weird here. Because we're setting the actor's relative rotation, if we were to just simply plug in ourselves, because if you notice I try to plug in a component, the components aren't going to work. We need an actor. And remember, the actor is pretty much going to be your blueprint itself, a blueprint actor. If I was to run this, we're going to see the entire thing rotate because it's basically getting the root and it's rotating it. For this example, to show you that you can use this in a different manner, I am spawning in a door and our door is simply this red item. It's, it's a door. That's all it is. It's a, it's a mesh that looks like a door. But I'm spawning it in saving the variable reference and then using the attach to component node to attach that door to a root point which is where I want it to be on my blueprint. That's why when we run this and we look at it we have our rotating door which is our frame and the entire blueprint code and then we're attaching just another blueprint to it which consists of just simply our door. But when I do that now I can rotate the door itself separate from the parent using the rotate set actor relative rotation node. And I'll plug it back in and we'll look at it happen. So we're going to go ahead and look at a rotating door, which has this rotation 000. We'll run this, look on this one and watch it rotate. And it's at negative 120, even though the parent is at zero. It's again, a relative rotation. It has 120 degrees on the negative relative to the parent, which is zero which means we can, of course, take our parent and rotate our parent. And you'll notice the door itself is still going to stay in the proper position like we told it to. That's pretty much going to wrap up our set actor relative rotation node. We had do have the two other inputs, but these are the same as all the other setter nodes. Turning on teleport disables physics. If we have physics collision turned on, it basically stops it while we're moving, or in this case, rotating. Uh, for the most part, I don't believe this works properly when we're setting it relative. I believe this is technically disabled because if it was enabled, we should have an output here. But if it does work, basically when it rotates, it's going to go ahead and stop anything weird from happening on giant rotational numbers, such as maybe we have hair 
on this item which has physics enabled to allow it bounce and if we rotate a ginormous amount it might give us an undesired result. So if you're going to have physics enabled you can turn on teleport. Sweep allows collision to happen. If you do not have this checked collision will be ignored. So make sure sweep is enabled and keep in mind it's on the actor itself. So in this case my door if I don't have collision turned on, on the door, or if I had other things attached to this that did have collision, actor rotation, actor location, anything doing dealing with the actor and collision deals with the root itself. So keep that in mind. So if we have sweep turned on and we attempt to rotate this and we hit something else that we will collide with, it will simply stop it. Or if we have collision turned off, for example, hitting Collision is turned on with hit disabled, but overlap turned on, it's going to trigger an overlap as well. If we have sweeping turned on, we're going to get out a hit result. You can check out the video for how hit results work, but it breaks down basically what we hit and all the information about it. And that's it. That's going to wrap up our node. Remember, it takes in a target, which is an actor. If you simply fill in yourself, it's going to be relative to the world because the world is your parent when you are just an actor attached to the world and it takes in a rotator for the relative rotation to that parent.